Hey resellers, thanks so much for tuning in to today's video. How do you know when you have like officially made it as a reseller? For a lot of people, that moment happens when they buy their first thermal printer. Gone are the days of the dinosaur when we use a laser jet to print pages upon pages of labels and cut them out like school children and paste them onto packages. Now we can join the ranks of our heroes and print our labels on thermal paper the way God intended. <laughs> that seems to be the euphoria that we, we have set up in our minds for what it's going to be like to print with a thermal printer when we finally get one. But then you get your heart set on it. You think I am definitely, um, I'm diving into this and you price the thermal printers and yikes. I'm here today to introduce you to an option that about 90% of you apparently don't know is out there because every time that I show my shipping labels or show printing my shipping labels, I get the same question. What in the world are those long labels and what are you using to print them? I can tell you it is about half the price of what you're used to as a thermal printer and it is name brand. It is a Dymo. Let's check it out. Okay, so the Dymo that most resellers and basically anyone who ships and prints um, labels from their home is familiar with would be the Dymo 4XL. I priced the Dymo 4XL today. That prints those beautiful 4x6 labels, the labels that Poshmark loves, the labels most eBay sellers love. And guys, Staples currently has that printer at $355. Yikes. I feel like the majority of people who are just getting a thermal printer are just starting and reselling. So to take a huge chunk of their weekly income, if not possibly a brand new reseller, their entire week income, that would have been my entire week income for almost the first year maybe of reselling, um, to take all of their profits for a piece of business equipment like that, like $355, that's more than you can spend on a camera. That's more than you could spend on a laptop. That is such an investment piece that a lot of people stick with the laser jet and they keep doing that prehistoric thing of cutting paper and taping it onto packages. So I can't blame you, but I, to be fair, kind of stumbled upon the Dymo that I use. I do not use the Dymo 4XL. I use the Dymo 450 Turbo. Now I was in South Florida at a Goodwill when I found this printer and I thought, oh my gosh, a Dymo. And of course I thought it was the 4XL and I got so excited and I saw it. I want to say that they had it for about $40, which was definitely paying up. I ran comps. The money was there, but more than anything, I didn't want to resell it. I wanted to know, could I make this work and could I use this for my own business? It was clear to me that this did not print out four by six labels. It printed out rather two by seven labels. Now the two inch by seven inch inch labels are, they look like this. This is not the typical shipping label you are used to. And originally I thought, could I make it so small that I could fit it onto here and use it anyway? But that is not actually how it works at all. eBay has a completely different format to print this label, including a barcode. Um, the QR code for the stamp is up here. Like this label will end up looking very, very different than the traditional four by six shipping label that you're used to using. But unless you know that this is an option, and you now do, you may have walked right past the Dymo 450 Turbo and left it on the shelf unaware that you could use it for your business. Now, what is the price of the Dymo 450 Turbo? Well, you can typically pick those up in good use condition on eBay for less than $100. That's right, a Dymo for less than $100. If you want to spend a little bit more, you can buy one brand new for a bit more than that, but I can tell you that they do not carry the several hundreds dollars price tag that a Dymo 4XL does. A Dymo 4XL on eBay used is $150 plus shipping. Maybe you will luck out and get a better deal than that, but all day long, they can sell between $150 to $200 in used condition. I'm going to drop below a few links to some of the uh, exact same printer model that I use, some different listings that I found on eBay. Maybe you guys, if you're in the market, could check out some of these eBay sellers. I am not familiar with each and every individual listing. I'm just showing you the, the same type of model. So do your due diligence, check out the seller, make sure they have reputable feedback, make sure the product is in good working condition per the description and um, that everything else is in order for you to be able to purchase this item. But I'm linking it below so that there's no discrepancy. This is the exact printer 
filter I use and let me show you guys how to set it up so that you can actually use this on eBay. I have pulled up just one individual item here. I'm not in bulk shipping. I am just shipping one individual item. And notice down here at the very, very bottom that says print format seven to two change or preview. If I click change, then a window pops up that enables me to change my shipping label to an eight by 11, a four by six, or a two by seven. This two by seven is the magic format that is gonna allow you to use this discounted printer to ship labels over here on eBay. So just ensure that you have selected two by seven and click save. And I only ever had to do this once. The next label popped up the exact same way. And let me give you guys a preview of what this label actually looks like. Okay, this is the eBay provided sample, so no actual addresses are being used, but this is exactly what the label looks like, shy of the word sample being obviously plastered across there. You will see F for first class, P for uh, priority, and X for media mail in the upper left corner. You will have the barcode, the scannable tracking uh, right there. The return address is up here in the corner, and the buyer's address. You have the QR code in case you were wrong about the postage, the date, the weight of the package, package. Everything is right there. This prints off as a nifty little two by seven on the thermal stickers. So here is what my unit actually looks like. It's just, again, just the Dymo Label Rider 450 Turbo. And I tell you what, I am gonna go ahead and print the sample just so that you guys can see exactly, um, exactly what this looks like. Okay, when I'm on the print page and I click print here, um, it's gonna pull up, you see this is way off of what it should be. This is your actual print preview. So you wanna ensure that the printer is selected um, correctly, the Dymo, and then you need to go to more settings. Now I do have to change this just about every single time. It is currently on a 30, um, 252 address label, you're gonna scroll down to the, um, right here, the 99019 lever, large lever arch. That is the label that you're going to need to purchase for all of your eBay shipping labels. 99019 large lever, lever arch. And as soon as I select that, you will see that this actually goes to what it should look like. Let's go ahead and get this printed and uh, see what happens over here with the printer. So we will print. And here is what your label looks like. So this is what the label winds up looking like. And uh, these labels, again, just peel right off. And I'm gonna tell you another secret. I don't use the Dymo branded labels. I actually buy mine from House of Labels. You can see that right here on the back. And I'm going to link below the exact eBay listing I use and order and reorder for those labels. And I'll show you inside, I have, I think, six of these Dymo internet postage label. Again, it's 99019 is the label that you'll need and let me just show you something in case you think I'm blowing smoke today I have just went into eBay and typed in Dymo 450 turbo this one is used and is offered right now on eBay for $54.99 plus $17.75 shipping this right here guys is a legitimate postage printing option for you I have never not one time ever had a problem with my Dymo 450 turbo and printing labels I will tell you this is an eBay option Poshmark currently does not allow a 2x7 printing option so when it comes to Poshmark that is probably another reason why they're not my favorite and eBay is because I am a dinosaur every time I print those beautiful 4x6 labels over on Poshmark and cut them and tape them onto packages but for for eBay where I sell the majority of my merchandise, I am a pro, let me tell you. A professional at a discount. A penny saved is a penny earned, you guys. I am trying to help you make more money. Did you know that this was an option? You guys have to comment below and tell me if you've ever heard about this printer being used because I thought it was more common than what it is, but I just, like I say, this video is kind of promised to a lot of viewers and a lot of folks over on Instagram because everyone wants to know, what is that printer? How are you printing those labels? Here's another pre-owned one for $60 with $13 shipping. Here is one pre-owned for $75 plus $21.20 shipping. Uh, this one is parts only. You know there's even the 450 twin which prints two labels at a time. I mean if you're like, like um, printing out a mess of labels every single day, you might want that ability to be able to print two labels at once. This one is pre-owned $134 so that's the higher end but guys I just feel like you can get this pre-owned 
all day long for under a hundred dollars if you're willing to to put in a little bit of work and search that out but if the word gets out they're gonna start to raise the price on these so you better click some of the links below get your turbo and i'll even link below the search that i did to be able to find these good deals for you guys so look for the links about the printers as well as the links about the search and the links about the labels that i use again i've never had any problem using non dymo labels in the dymo printer i know a lot of people think oh man you have to use specifically that and of course dymo is going to tell you that like if they tell you that you could use any labels in the world they have you as a one-time customer if they tell you that you can only use their labels then you're a repeat buyer for the life of that printer that is not my advice to you to go screw up your dymo do that at your own caution i am fully aware that i am risking the life of my dymo every time i put non-dymo branded labels in it i'm okay with that you may not be it may not be the good option for you okay i did not tell you to do that Here's another one pre-owned for $79.99 plus $7.50 shipping. Here's another one pre-owned for $55.25 plus $15 shipping. Here's another one pre-owned for $69 benefits charity, $22 shipping. Here's one pre-owned for $55 plus $20 shipping. Are you guys seeing a trend? These are all less than $100. You can be thermal printing in as little as a week with this printer. Go online go order it. Thank you guys so much for watching this super quick video. If this was not information that you needed, please share it with another reseller who has been looking at getting a thermal printer. And if you watched all the way here to the end, then drop an emoji of a unicorn because I feel like this is the type of unicorn knowledge that we all need. Uh, I need new tips and advice. So I hope I've shared something new with you guys today. God bless you. Thanks again for watching. And remember, say it with me, y'all. Treat your business like your business.